Good morning. It's Monday. So I did a live stream last night. If you missed that, go back and check it out. But during that live stream, I told you I wasn't making a video today. Well, my plans have changed slightly, so we might be able to get one done today. But uh, this morning, I am heading up to Detroit to pick up a radiant tube heater, much like those. In fact, exactly like those, just a little bit longer uh, for my seed warehouse that we're going to put up in there. So um, road trip this morning and we'll go from there. And we're off. We did get a little snow uh, yesterday. We've got more snow on the ground than we've had all year, like an inch and a half. Although Wednesday now, they're calling for a big snowstorm, so we shall see. You guys know I have trouble pronouncing the GRIUs, the, the, the ceramic products that we use. You see that sign right there? You see that word? Yeah, that's pronounced GRASHIT. That's, that's why. It's because we have weird spelled words like that here in Michigan. For real, Gratiot Avenue. All loaded up, that was easy. All right, well, let's get out of here. Traffic jam with the delivery truck. Um, yeah, it took 10 minutes to pick it up and pay for it, and, and two and a half hours to get here. I was I'm about half an hour from my uh, sister and brother in laws I was gonna stop and have lunch with him, but he texted me this morning, said he had a rough night at work, police officer, and I uh, wanted to cancel, so no big deal. We'll just head for home. We're gonna go south this time to Toledo and stop in at our Berkey farm, just check stuff out, make sure everything's going well there. Plus it'll be lunchtime when we get to Toledo. Should we go to Canada? Not today. I don't have my passport. Got my um, my Chick-fil-A for lunch and made it to our farm here, just checking stuff out. It's one of those things that uh, we're not here a lot in the winter. So when you're driving by, you stop in and check everything. Make sure it all looks good. We got our corn head down here. Wagons, air seeder. Seed tender and way wagon. Yeah. All looks good. All is well. Back to get our trailer unloaded. Oh, it's cold. I think there's a little more snow here. Oh, might need to turn the four wheel drive on just to get out the driveway. That will make it. Let's see. 32 out. Yeah, it's it's a little slushy. Driveways are melting off. Ah, oh, we made it back. Uh, I had a seed truck come while we were gone, so there's all kinds of tracks in the driveway, like a lot of tracks in the driveway. I don't, I don't quite know why there's so many from one truck, but that's okay. Doesn't look like it was much. Oh, a bunch of bagged beans. Dad unloaded it for me. All right, well, we'll get the door opened up and unload this thing, and it's heavy enough that I'm gonna use a forklift. Well, they're just gonna test my forklift skills right off the bat, aren't they? We'll be all right. When we were loading them up, a the guy there grabbed the shorter box and just picked it up and carried it into the trailer, no problem at all. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll get the other one. The other one's bigger. I didn't realize it at the time, but this box weighs about 90 pounds. This one weighs about 160, he said. I'm like, oh man, that thing is heavy. It appears I have a leaky hydraulic fitting. On the new forklift, I think it's that one right there. Yep, we will have to address that. It'll be okay. All right, let's uh, let's open our box up. I got a knife around here somewhere. All right, there's our heat shields, and I'm guessing, yeah, the tubes. Okay, so we hang that, and then that box got the heater in it. We'll open that one up too. My plan is to just go one run right down the center. So in our shop, we have two of them, kind of one on each side. Um, my concern with going one on each side is the farther down the slope we go, the closer we get to the top of the boxes. And I need some clearance to not melt the boxes. Um, you know, right where my lights are, probably would have been okay to put one on each side, but I decided to go with one right in the middle. We're gonna hang it right in the peak. We'll have to move our fan, take that down. And um, 
that should work. And like I said, we only need heat in here for about three weeks a year, if that, just to get the beans warm so we can run them through the treater because the beans can't be uh, super cold. They have to be above 40 degrees in order to take the treatment well. So uh, that's the goal with this. We're going to just heat it up in here for a couple of weeks instead of using that 100-pound uh, propane cylinder and the portable heater that I had that I you know, had been using. We're just going to, we're just going to do it this way. So it should work. It should work well. I have a man left so we can get it installed, which may not be the handiest inside here, but it will work, won't it? Um, so I've got a gas line right to the outside of the barn over in that corner. We've got to get it in and plumbed up to the, up the wall and over to where the heater's going to go. And we're going to have to get electric. We'll put the, the burner end on that end. We'll, eh, maybe, maybe we'll put the heater over here and vent it that way. That would probably be better. I don't know if it'll matter. I have to run the gas line clear over to this end if I put the burner on this end, but I'll have to put run electric clear to that end if I put the burner on the other end. So either way, we're running either conduit for electric wire or we're running black pipe for gas line. So take your pick, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. We'll work on this. It's not an uh, imminent project that's going to happen this week, but I would like to do it before I need it the end of March, whatever that tells you. Ah, there's the business end. The heater and the thermostat and the hanging brackets, cables. So, cool. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Just gotta take the time to do it. Uh, I believe it's 60 feet of pipe, 60 foot long, I think. That's what I got. Yeah, sounds right. I am fully well aware that I have basically no insulation in that barn, or very little, and uh, it's not going to retain heat very well. But I need heat for two or three weeks a year, and I don't think I can justify spending 20 grand in insulation and steel to finish the inside of the barn for two weeks a year. So we'll just burn a little more gas. It'll be fine. All right, well, I'm back here at the farm. We're working on a few odds and ends. On uh, Friday, I was cleaning up this this thing that got left in the shop uh, that goes on this tractor. And then it started raining before I could get it brought out here, so we are bringing it out and getting it installed. That finishes that up. And toolboxes. We have the toolbox for this tractor and that tractor. shop. I forgot the book. The book for the 9R is in there. So this goes on. It fits on and then slide that pin in and it holds it in place. We'll refill it with tools and stuff when we go to the field. Parts and things that we need. Um, but like I told Dad the other day, last week, oh, maybe I already told you guys this too, it's, it's uh, full wrench season. Our, our wrenches and everything that sometimes in the summer, in the spring, or when we're in the fields, you can't find a three-quarter inch wrench or a nine-sixteenths wrench or a 15 millimeter. And just, they're all in tractor toolboxes and stuff. Well, they're all in the shop now. We can actually get them. All right. There's that stuff. I do have the book in the shop yet. We need to get the book and put it in that tractor. All right, well, I got that stuff pulled back. Uh, I need to get some scrap out of my house. I told you guys a week or two ago I had a refrigerator in real bad. My garage fridge, an old one that's I've had for oh, almost 15 years. It quit, and, uh, so we found a replacement. I got to get the old one out. Plus, I have a old treadmill that quit working. That's junk and garbage, and I tore it apart and I'm gonna throw it on the scrap pile. Yeah, that. I'm going home. And I'm not publishing this tonight, so we'll see you in the morning. It's going to be a... We got stuff going on tomorrow, but again, not film worthy too much. So by the time we put two days together, we'll have a decent video. Good morning again. Um, slight change of plans for the day. We've got more errands to run and things to pick up. But I wanted to update you this. Look, our new truck is in the shop. So for all of those of you that told me that we were going to be sitting on the side of the road broke down, go ahead and gloat. Um, a tank strap 
broke right there. That little itty bitty piece right there. Not the end of the world, it's not a big deal, but it was dragging, we got to fix it. So it goes over here on the passenger side. Actually an exhaust component strap goes down in there and around to hold that uh, catal catalyst chamber, exhaust chamber, whatever up. So anyway, we got it off. We just gotta get the get a new strap and put it back on there. Can you tell where we're at? No, you can't see it. Patio furniture from Lowe's. It's January, but my wife's been looking for this particular set of patio furniture for almost a year now for the new house. And it's always been sold out. And it was in stock and on sale today, so we got it. Oh, those are heavy. Anyway, we'll deal with that when it's warm out. All right, well, we're back at the farm. Let's see, where did I leave off? Uh, dropping off furniture at my seed warehouse, I think. I took the trailer back, and then I had a meeting at church about insurance, because that's what everybody loves to do, right? Um, yeah. Anyway, we we're back here. I don't have a ton going on this afternoon. I'm gonna be working on the computer and stuff some. But tomorrow, I would like to get a 4440 in the shop. Which means I would like, or should, get the 4440 in the shop tonight so that it's warmed up. And I don't know if it'll start right now, so we're gonna get it plugged in here. Eh, I need a little longer cord. All right, let me get another cord. We got it, barely, but we got enough. So um, there's, a, there's a heater in there, it's the engine block heater. It warms up the antifreeze around the engine so that it'll start better. So we'll let that run for an hour or two and then we'll see. So I'm trying to figure out where I need to install that heater and I'm debating between flex tubing or black pipe. Both of them are expensive. I mean, talking 350 bucks plus um, all the fittings and everything. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm leaning towards the flexible right now because it would be way easier to run than 10 foot sticks of black pipe that would take me forever to put together. All right, well, it has been, oh gosh, wouldn't it be so nice if the back half of our shop was insulated and I didn't have to worry about opening those big heavy doors all the time? It has been a while since we plugged this tractor in. Let's see if it'll start. Come on, baby. Oh, fired right up. No problem at all. The way Dad talked when he tried to get it to start when the power was out one day and wouldn't go, hardly couldn't get it to go, so I was concerned, but... Plugging it in for an hour, make some, does wonders, so. All right, we'll get the door open. We're just gonna take it around and put it in the shop for right now. We've got some work to do back here. It needs cleaned up. We'll look at the hours on stuff and see what else we need to do to it. Brock's coming tomorrow, so we need a project for him. Old school cool, right? Right. And look, it's only got 421 hours on it. Original, one owner. That's a lie, don't believe that. It is one owner. Well, I mean, my grandpa, my dad, me, it's three, but one family ownership. Um, but it's had several tax in it. It's got significantly more than 420 hours on it. Huh, where'd that little guy come from? You okay there, bud? You're gonna have to go outside. Did you guys know that on tractors like this, in the 4020, and basically anything up to 50 series gears, I believe, um, an hour is not really an hour? So there's a tack in there, right? It counts the engine hours, but doesn't actually count engine hours on a 4440. It counts engine RPMs, or not even RPMs, engine revolutions. And it will count an hour at rated PTO speed, so if you're running it at 2,000 engine RPMs, an hour is an hour. But when you're idling it and it's not spinning as fast, an hour is not actually an hour. I don't know how long it is or how long it actually takes to accumulate an hour on the tack, but um, it's longer than an actual hour. And it's this cable right here. That is, uh, there's, a, there's a cable in there that spins, and that's what spins on the tack, which is also why this tractor's had multiple tacks, because... 
eventually something in there breaks and it doesn't work and you got to replace it and you can't set the hours to what it was so it gets started over at zero. We probably did three or four of them back in the 90s and 2000s when we actually used this tractor. Uh, they would get to 999 <coughs> and they wouldn't roll over to a thousand. They would just sit there. So frustrating. But anyway, it's a did you know of the day. So we are sitting at 422 on the tack. 251 when we changed the oil last and that was 12 11 of 19 winter before 20 so that would have been three years it's time to change engine oil so brock engine oil change on the 4440 tomorrow uh 220 of 20 would have been just later that winter 253 hours on the fuel filter we'll change that as well probably air filter so we need to do a basically full service to this probably not hydraulic oil we'll have to look in our service records to see when the hydraulic oil and stuff was changed last but um that's probably unnecessary right now i'm trying to see yeah, it's a there's no date on the filter because it's a, it, it goes inside of a canister instead of changing the whole outside thing anyway um i did buy some more of these valves these hydraulic couplers for this one because this block leaks like crazy and this one doesn't it's been pretty good just a little bit so um, we'll get that all cleaned up. The other thing is we've got to get our PTO put back together. Um, Dad was changing the stub shaft out when he was trying to run the generator with it and uh, broke a snap ring, this snap ring. So he pulled the one out from here, which is where the extra shaft goes for storage purposes. And so we got to get that put back together. And he had taken the shield off. We got to put that back on uh, and just general maintenance and cleaning, that kind of stuff. So we don't use this tractor a ton but it is very handy when we need it. Could use a seat. The cab kit that I put in 10 years ago or so is still in really good shape. So it's the interior is holding up, but could use a seat back, I guess. I don't know, we probably won't do that, but we could. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up right here. So we should get our parts for this truck tomorrow and hopefully we can get that out of here. We'll work on this tomorrow. <clears throat> Should be a little bit more exciting video. I do have more errands and meetings and stuff to do tomorrow, but it is the season. It's what we do. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Questions and comments, leave them down below. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.